Yo, what's poppin', man? You already know it's your boy, Mr. J Hill. Uh, we in the A with it, but you know I got the city with me for real. Let's go. Uh, conversation Let's go. series, my guy, Pyrex is in the motherfucking building. My nigga Spud McKenzie yes, is in the motherfucking man. building. What's yes, up with y'all, man? What's rolling what's with going you? What's on, man? Ah, man, nothing much. Hey, first of all, let's get straight to it, man. You know, um, right. we come from a city, from the trenches, for real. You know, we hear a lot of celebrities talking about where they came from and that background and this and that, but yep. I don't be believing it a lot. But you guys, like, we actually been in the trenches with some of the most hardcore motherfuckers out there right definitely now you guys in the a i just want to ask um i feel like i've been asking this question a lot lately because i just moved out here what was like the jump for both of you guys and i'll let you go first pyrex like what made you just jump and say Fuck it, i'm moving uh spo was already down here uh rest in peace my boy d-day he was the reason i stayed uh if it weren't for him i wouldn't even be doing none of this right now right? yeah d-day was the reason i stayed man he just left me here for real i ain't had no option Rest in peace, both my yeah, bro. Rest in peace, D Day, man. What about you, Swell? What made you just jump and say, I'm gonna I'm, I'm just move, man? Shit, like, right after we lost Swift, the city died. Yeah. And a, a piece of me died with it. So I wasn't happy no more, mm. if you wanna say that. So that's just something I look at is like, eh, I just had to get up and go. Like, the city, the city really dead after that, bro. Don't get me wrong, I love the city, but pieces of me died when she died, and along with, you know, a couple of her associates. So. I couldn't, I couldn't fan him, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, that's a fact. I feel like we can't ignore the fact that, like, we all made our name in the city, right? Like, we wouldn't yeah. be who we were if it wasn't for our city. But at the same time, I feel like it wasn't, like, a hard transition to be like, yo, I'm gonna just move. Because I know for me, it's like, yo, like, this is where I'm at. Like, niggas mm-hmm. know me. Niggas you feel know me? me? Like, this is my home. And I'm assuming it had to be the same for y'all. Because y'all motherfuckers been, y'all was making moves for a long time. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. easy. It wasn't. Yeah, that yeah, shit that definitely shit. wasn't easy. It's just about who you run into, you rub elbows with. Like at the end of the day, it's it's a process. Mm. Like when I first got down here, ain't nobody know me. Facts. But I linked up with the right people, the, mm. the right people that had influence. You feel me? Like cash out. Shout out to all my niggas from two nine. Like them niggas was like really the first niggas fucking with me when I moved out here. And then that shit just went up there from then. You know, everybody at two nine really got the whole. The wave, you know, from Sonny, the man, man, the fat, fat man, Keith, for real, like even father. Like. So when you say two nines, it's for the people that don't know, because I'm, I'm, I'm still getting from familiar. I'll show you something when we say Sunny, Sunny Digital. Or, yeah. Okay. Come yeah. Because like, don't, don't, don't it's a lot of down. niggas that probably don't know, nigga. I don't know, and I ain't never gonna Come be scared on, to tell a nigga I that's don't know. The, that's <laughs> the goat right there, Sunny, sunny Digital. Grand. It's okay. only one Sunny when we talk about Sunny. Ain't nobody okay. Else. My boy got the wax. Okay. So, <laughs> how, but how did you link up with that? Because I feel like. It's easy for uh, a nigga shit. to- Nah, I met Sonny when I was 16. He was in Philly. I okay. was with Tess. We went to the, um, what's that shit? The Roots Picnic. Mm-hmm. I ran down on him. I'm like, yo, I make beats. You feel me? He brushed that shit off, though. Like, he didn't really care about it. But when I met him again, I'm like, damn it. I got these beats. And we had cooked up. But other than that, like, it was just natural. Cause you feel me? Sonny not really one of them Hollywood producers, you feel me, that's going- Oh, if you want to make beats with me, bro, you got to pay me. Or if you want to make beats with me, you got to be doing all this. He like, play me some beats. He like, oh, that's your heart. Let's cook up. But you had to work for it. Like, that's what I want to set the table to you. Because it's always, it's always a lit motherfucker that comes to the table like, yeah, man, you know, I just had to link up with the right people. You know, Sunny Tuna, all them like, like, and I'm like, all right, bro, but that shit ain't that easy. Like you said, when you first met him, you like, ran down on me. He like, bro, all right, bro. like, uh, stiff I mean, on. when you meet the right niggas, though, they real, real people. You feel me? Like, I linked up with Fat Man Key after I linked up with Man Man. You feel me? Like me and Man Man been rocking for a minute. Like that's my boy. Like, we started working when right before I met Z Money. You feel me? So once that shit started locking, then we was in the studio for like 11th Street every day. I would book the studio off for like two weeks. You feel me? Every day for two weeks, and we just be in that bitch working. Damn. And I really ended up getting a relationship with Bro. You feel me? Because he would do songs faster than anybody. Like on my shit, it'd be hard. Like, Thanks. So I'm like, well, I gotta lock in with him. And then that's how I ended up. Running in the young mall, you feel me? But Lil Keith and Lil Got It, that really just came natural. You know, to be honest, like I just ran into them at the studio at 11th Street. Like to be honest, I'm a studio junkie. Like I don't leave it. I don't leave the studio. So that's so you how think I a lot of your place, relationships happen. came from the studio. Yeah, I don't leave. So okay. Like, what about you, Spud? Like when you came out here, like how was the transition for you, dog? Shit, I came out here. Believe it or not, I was working security, y'all. I yeah. actually can believe that. You always been like a hardworking nigga, like. 
Because yeah. I know you for a long time. Yeah, you know. So when you say some shit like that, like yeah. I can believe it. Like I know your work is crazy, but like you always been that nigga that's just been like working out the club. Like, yeah, because like yeah. yeah, you know. You feel me? Like <laughs> niggas was skating, dancing and shit. Like, <laughs> like hey, yo, niggas focused on the skate. That's all niggas. But nah, we can't play that. We, we can't play like, bro. Back in the day, all the shit that we might say weird now was lit. Like dancing was lit. Skating was lit. Like anything, I don't know. Like sure. anything that like we look at as weird was lit. Like if you was doing that, you probably was more than likely getting hoes. Because you was respected doing it. That's the it thing. Is, is what it if is. you was respected doing what we did, niggas can't say nothing to you because they knew what was gonna happen. My whole thing is. When I first moved out here doing security, that I didn't really know the, the playing field in Atlanta too much. Right. I, I came out here like what, 2014. So I ain't know nobody. Yeah, you been out here for me. Yeah. Brick. Yeah, little brick. Brick. Are you from out here now? Like this second city. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Like, nah. This is my second home. I'm not gonna lie. Like this this home for me. It feels good to be out here. But nah, when I came out here, I was moving security, bro. And I quit that job within like four months of being out here. Mind you, when I first moved here, I moved to Adamsville. Mm. Most Jesus familiar, Christ. that's the west side. So like, that's equivalent to living around Mount Diamond. It yeah, thank you. You gotta see when you break when y'all, bro. I'm three weeks in, bro. So when you <laughs> when you when y'all keep saying these names and these clicks, bro, break it down for me. All right, so you know like, what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the hell we talking about. Right, and I'm pretty sure it's a nigga from Baltimore or from uh, fucking Arkansas, like my guy, and don't know what the fuck we talking about. So. Like, bro. I was on the back of uh, Adamsville, which is like close to like Six Flags. Like you take a little bit up, but yeah. Um, when I looked over there, I, I, I linked up with this kid, um, DC Young Fly. You feel me? This kid, DC this kid. Young Fly. Because I didn't know he was the funny nigga from Vine at the time. Okay. So I, it was just a nigga around the way, you know, him along with the nigga money bag with the Nike check on his forehead. Yeah. Them niggas live in that area, so I'm just looking at everyday niggas. You know, I go get a chicken box. They outside, just regular shit, not realizing these niggas got a million followers on Vine. So like fast forward, I think um, Jessica Carr, you know Jess, J Carr sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She had DM'd uh, the Rod, which is I guess his manager at the time. Told me link up with DC. Come to find out, he needed a little photographer. At the time, Damn. I was already taking pictures in the woods, being weird with my weird shit. No, 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 no. You don't say you're a little photographer. No. Right. No, you just try to play me. Because dummy, I'm feeding into that. I need a little photographer. But because they be out, dummy. Like when I was out here, it wasn't no big photographer. It was just a little photographer. It was just like like yo yo with the beats. Sure. Let's go back. Oh niggas calling it. But it's this the entity though. Moving forward, big energy like fucking. I love that about that because we can be humble about where we came from. Nah, facts. But yeah, so moving into it, like just doing photography with him and then that established a relationship. And I'm gonna be honest with you, DC plugged me in with a lot of people outside of Atlanta before actually, you know, molded me in. Mm -hmm. So I'm already linking up with people like in Louisiana, you feel me, Texas, Florida, not realizing I'm building business relationships. Mm -hmm. So then from there, it just made sense. Like, so if I went, I was okay. Damn. Cause that nigga went straight to like a hole in the wall, everything. So that relationship building. So now that. niggas said right big energy now. Niggas, it's no more little low, little low, low <laughs> nigga that make bees, little photographer. None of that shit. Like <laughs> none of that. Being in the A, like what what are some of the or, or who are some of the I guess the biggest people that you guys work with separately? And this this, this interview is different because like y'all are two. This is supposed to be two separate interviews. You know that. Like, no, you know that. Sure. But it's like it's weird because like y'all both lit and y'all own perspective doing y'all own thing. So I'm trying to interview both of y'all. And it's, just, it's, it's fucking me up because, like, this shit's supposed to be separate, first of all. But I appreciate you guys for pulling nah, up. No, for sure. <laughs> so, like, who, who are some of like, the bigger artists that you guys work with? And if I'm going to let you go first, Pyrex. Hey. The biggest artist I feel like I don't work with. Uh, it got to be Cole. Because Cole. Man. That nigga rap, just bro. be saying <laughs> shit effortlessly. Like, like yo, Cole? I don't. Yeah. way he rap, bro, that is crazy out of cola james blake like, james blake might be like niggas it's wild at the table. Crazy, <laughs> that nigga so dope so who, who you think was i guess did you ever have an artist that was like hard to work with i ain't gonna speak on that you ain't gonna, bro we bro i don't i don't like putting like i just it, it's a couple of artists you feel me because you gotta make that money so you gotta i mean you i work with them again you feel me people energy they it be what they be what it is at the time i'm not gonna never sit base one experience or two experiences off of how somebody is, you feel mm. me? But I've been in the studio with niggas where I just pack my shit up like dumb. I don't Wait, care. you just dip? Yeah, like I don't really care who you is, bro. Like I'm none of these niggas that's in the room with you. <laughs> niggas, it's crazy. What about you, Spud? Who's like the uh, the, the biggest. biggest artist you work with? Probably like I say Wiz and Usher. Damn, 
Like just, oh yeah, I forgot I did so much. All this shit came from the A. Like yeah. all this shit came from working, like being in the A. Just being in the A. This shit is ridiculous, yeah, just, bro. Just pulling up, yeah, like yeah. this shit is crazy, man. You guys work work together with anything or anything? What? With plenty of shit. We, we were like a one stop house out this. Bitch. I, know, I was just in the hallway. <laughs> nigga said, "Yo, I only got one video with Spud." Nigga said, "Spud moved to the A and got Hollywood." I'm just saying, yeah. like, I mean, that I mean, was I called his phone like five. That like was just a cat. We about to drop some. Yeah, we, we about, about to drop, drop another video. Shit. What y'all about to drop, bro? Another blood on the hills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Better than the last one. Yo, so yo, Spud, when you when you go into this shit, like, is, is niggas giving you the ideas, or you just coming up with it yourself? This the evil genius, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's like we, we sit in the room how we are right now, and mm-hmm. then just shit just start spewing. No, you don't. No, you don't. And we out. No, you don't. That's it. It's, no, you don't. It's crazy shit. No, you don't. He capping. He capping. <laughs> What happens, a magician I, never reveals I, his secrets, I, I bro. The bro, come on, man. Y'all want some, bro. Yeah. But it hit you with the this what we doing. And you be like, damn, bro, how you think of that? Like, it ain't. So you like, ain't never, like, disagree with the idea, though? No. That me be going crazy. Sheesh. Like, only the agree thing we had a disagreement with, we was in LA, you feel me? It was a hill, it had rattlesnakes on it. This dumbass nigga tried to get me to walk through that shit. You got me that ass up. about that, too. What? He mm-hmm. was like, yo, take your shirt off and walk through that. I said, bro, smoking dick. I'm not doing it. Him and Chaz tried to get me walk through the fucking field with no shirt on through fucking rattlesnakes, bro. Like, it was a rattlesnake. Like, you know, they live in the ground, you feel me? Like, so at night they come out. It's holes in the ground the size of my leg, bro. Like, this nigga talking about, bro, just walk through the grass, bro. Like, and then on top of that, I got, like, stacked jeans on, you feel me? So the bottom of the jeans flare off. So if a snake was the, you feel me? He be up in my. I'm pitching this shit. Like, like, he don't. He don't realize like murder bravado would have gave him some more pants if he did that. That's why I was looking for brand use, but he ain't hit me up. That I don't day. know, Ryan. It's some shit I ain't doing though. Like bro, I, we in like, the middle I of the desert. I don't even know bro. where the hospital at, bro. Like, yeah, I want to ask y'all a question. Since I want to ask y'all a question. Since we in I was watching um this academics video, right? And uh, Twenty One Savage is talking about uh nobody can fuck with Atlanta music when it kind of music. That's cap. Sir Cap a lot. Who y'all think will win? I we had to do it. I think I asked somebody about uh if it was Diddy or J D. And I feel like that's probably the closest when it comes to like New York and Atlanta. If you had to battle city for city, New York City and Atlanta, music scene wise, who wins? From New York to Atlanta? Yeah. If you're talking, about, cla- if you're talking about classical music, then it New York any wins. Music. Any if music talking about New York, yeah. if they win. Off top. It's out of New York or St. Louis. Yeah, easily. St. Louis? Yeah, you be forgetting about who come out of St. Louis, bro. That's the problem. Who else? A lot, but I'm just saying, it's it's so... I, Jack I, Harlow, you feel me? Yes, he's Jack Harlow? Jack Harlow is not going to be an artist that's disappearing. I mean, he ain't going to disappear, but bro, we talking about city? I see so you looking crazy. City as a city as a whole, though. Yeah, we talking about city. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Virginia mo- before I go with St. Louis. I mean, Ooh, of come course. On, don't you feel me? Because you got Pharrell. That's right. a cheat code. But. It's a... It's you a got lot. You got Missy, too. I think. You got, you got Missy. You yeah. got, you got, you got <laughs> Pusha Tim. T. You got a lot of people. Yeah. You got real music that came out of Virginia, but I'm talking about Chris like, Brown, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, like, we want. But you asked the question of, you feel me, of New York and shit. So, I'm just saying, out of, if we was to talk about trap music, you feel me? Atlanta is the home of trap music. Mm. Can't beat that. But we're talking you about. Never be but I'm saying, in, in, in general, though. You, in general? You, and not you, popularity, of course. All right. So, y'all think Diddy got JD? Hell no. Uh, what? Hell no. You smoking if you think Diddy is fucking with Jermaine Dupree. Bro, we, we talking think... about Jermaine. Bro, first of all, let's just do this, bro. Have you looked at Jermaine Mariah Dupree? Carey's catalog alone, bro, off of JD. And then, let's just speak about it, bro. It's, oh. it's magnificent. Okay. That's JD. Okay. She's killing a lot. That, 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 that's a so, conversation right there, bro. If we had to do that, I mean, of course, Diddy going to go in his biggie bag, of course. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Right, but I mean. Who else? Who else? I mean, we can say Tori. Mar- we can Mary say J. Mary. Blige. Like, come on, Okay, bro. JD got shit with Mary J. Blige. That's I mean, hits. he don't got Diddy. Like, he don't got Diddy songs, though. But yeah, what yeah. particular hits shit, of Diddy that he Shit, I think he got the whole, uh, what was the, what was the, uh, the first album? What, what album is that? Don't give me the line. I don't want to pull it up. Um, the one when she did the fucking, uh, the, uh, the documentary one. Listen, I understand what you're saying, bro, but if we talking about a producer aspect, bro, Diddy is not fucking, fucking with, with JD. JD, bro. I, I think know, everybody bro. knows and that. I don't know, bro. And, and shout out to my boy Diddy, but. Uh, like, shout out to Diddy I, and yeah, everything that, he did, but I'm talking about as a producer, bro, as a, somebody who gonna sit here, I'm gonna make my own beats. I'm not gonna hire nobody. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not sampling shit. I'm making these beats from off the top of my head. JD. And I'm writing the hook. I like y'all like, not gonna downplay JD. Never. No, I'm, I'm not, not downplaying. No, I'm JD. saying not true. I'm, I'm saying, saying the I'm world not. been trying to downplay him because of what the Diddy you talking about the money shit. We're not gonna do that, bro. Diddy had business endeavors. You feel me? JD didn't. 
You feel me? Mm. Keep it real. JD didn't come out with Ciroc. JD didn't come out with uh, De, De Leon. He didn't have, mm. you feel me, making the band. He that didn't have none of that. Bro. It was JD, bro. He stuck to being a producer. If we're going to talk about a producer, bro, he got rich off of just making beats. So when you're talking about making beats, right, and I think we both can talk about this. Got All right, it. when we talk about being a producer, so do you think you, you are, you are, I don't want to say judging, but do you think you're, 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 you're holding the level of how good somebody is, a producer is, if he's only making his own beats? No, I'm not mm. judging that at all. I'm judging the quality of your work. Mm. You feel me? JD is, he he's gave us endless hits back to back. He's, he's a silent killer. He's a DJ Spins. Can't kill that, bro. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like, I like for example, like I, I feel like a lot of people um been taking like credit away from Kanye West because like he'll have so many people on the song. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's fine. But we're never going to argue the quality of that producers. Bro. Right. That shit is just. Uh, so we're not talking about just making your own beats because I feel like that's what people would talk about when they talk about JD. It's the quality of your work, work that's right. going to eat up everything. Bro. So if you had to, if you had, if you had to grade it, if you, I mean if you had to rate. The, Let me ask you this question: When you was 14, 15, who was your favorite rapper? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Okay. All Ooh. right. Who was your favorite rap when you was 14, 15? Because you're like, you was this When I was 14, 15, I'm not going to lie, I was Bow Wow. Like, I was a kid. Okay. You feel me? I ain't mm-hmm. even know nothing about what Lil Wayne was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. When I was 15, I think it definitely was Lil Wayne. You feel me? Like, I, I wasn't, I didn't have that Wayne. Right, right. You feel me? I came up when, you got to think, bro, I'm 23. Oh, yeah. You see, you youngest, that don't count. You feel, but I'm not, say, I'm not saying it don't count, but I'm talking about as far as the music, bro. Okay. Like, if we being serious, I listen to, if we want, if we, I'd, 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 I would fuck with Biggie before I fuck with anybody. Back in the day, because the way Biggie put stories together was crazy. Mm-hmm. Kicking the door, waving the full foot like he went crazy. It's crazy because like, I thought at one point in time I thought Tupac was was the best, right? And then like I'm not gonna lie, I got into the story and shit like that, and just 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 uh like who he was and like he was like really intellectual dude. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just when you when you when you are such a like artist, right, mm-hmm. at the heart, but you portraying something else. I me personally. I didn't like that. I mean, that's just just my my opinion. Everybody had their own opinion and stand back about Tupac, but my thing is, I don't think he portrayed himself as a gangster. I feel like he portrayed himself as a man that didn't take shit from nobody. And looking at that and the way his mom raised him, you feel me? Like his father, you gotta think of who his father was. You gotta think of who his mother was. You gotta stand on that. You feel me? They taught him to fuck the world, bro. Like mm. basically, you, they taught him to. Kanye, the way Kanye moves, you feel me? Like everybody be like, yo, that's wrong. It's bro. some Gemini shit. They both it's, Gemini's. It's I'm a Gemini, so I, I feel it. He, I understand. Like he's confident <laughs> in himself, bro. Like when I remember when I first seen that video with Kanye, bro, like that shit motivated me. The fact that he said, Hey, nobody fucking with me on these beats. He said, I am the best producer. He said, and I'm gonna uh-huh. show y'all. And he did it. Mm. Like, that's real motivation, bro. That's a real producer. If we gonna talk about niggas fucking with anybody on this, like Kanye is Diddy ain't fucking with Kanye. No, nah, I think I think I mean, Kanye is m- me personally one of my favorites. I think uh, everybody be saying this whole like if, if Kanye had to go against Drake, who would win? Everybody saying Drake. I think Kanye is me personally. I mean Drake is a guy. Don't get it. Don't get it fucked up. Drake is that nigga. So I don't even want. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say Kanye. I don't give a fuck. Like I'm gonna I mean, say yeah. And, and that's fine. That's okay. But you gonna go with Drake? You gonna go with Drake? You gonna bet against the Drake? Nigga just, you gonna bet against the nigga that went platinum in six days? Okay, bro. But okay, let's get back. You to gonna this. bet against the nigga that sold three hundred and fifty thousand copies every day when his since his album dropped? I don't care about none of that, bro. Music, like when it comes to some music that hit. I, honestly, me personally, I don't know. I'm gonna go out on a limb with this. I don't care. Let me ask I you a question. Have you heard "Pipe Down" on the album? Yeah. Okay. Have so. Nigga, what? That, that, I still don't think I still don't think Drake has given given that, me. I mean, the wordplay on that shit is crazy. and it's cool, but I don't think Drake has never given me through the wire ever, ever. He's not going to right. And that's, he's and not so that type talk, of artist. But when we talk about this music, I mean, Kanye West got songs that's like I mean, literally like that's that's records. I mean, hits. I mean, I Let mean, me like you this question. history. Do you, think, do you think that if Drake didn't want to, he couldn't give you a through the wire? No, because he did. Ah. I'm sorry. He's that nigga. Don't get it twisted. He's he's that guy. But he hasn't. I'm sorry. He hasn't. If he could have, he would have. But hey, he did bro, it. Hey, I'm, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. One thing about that I've noticed since being here, <laughs> you got to give respect on this dude, bro. Yeah, and I'm going to give him his respect. And nine, 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 that man is an artist, bro. He can. He's out rapping everybody. In so the wait, game. wait, wait. Let's not get it messed up. I'm not saying like, that I don't give Drake his flowers because I think Kanye West would beat him in the verses. You just I'm feel not, like it's just you know the same compassion as you feel. I, I, the same. I understand where you're coming from, but we being real, bro. Like 
Kanye not gonna be Drake anniversary, bro. In this day and age, like we don't have anybody with their own opinion. Mm. He's not gonna be able to win that. You feel mm. me? Like if we did, let's say if we go back ten years, Drake and Kanye could never stand beside each other. You feel me? Kanye would be smoking Drake. And that's but we talking is. about the generation where don't nobody have their own opinion. Mm. Uh, it's gonna be one nigga to be like, yeah, that's your Drake shit better than Kanye. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Everybody else gonna fall in line. It's gonna be yeah. one nigga that comment, why be better? You feel me? Guess what's gonna <laughs> It's gonna be like twenty niggas that's twenty gonna niggas come. that's gonna say young boy <laughs> better. Fucking time, bro. That shit, that shit never everywhere. Fucking, like, never loses. Stop that shit. Wabi's better. Okay. It's, it's, so <laughs> nigga got a whole billboard. Wabi's better. How do y'all even get that shit, bro? Remember the uh, shit that was going on, on Instagram not too long ago? Like, uh, uh, oh, he tweaking. Oh, he tweaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. that. It remind me of that shit. That's like, exactly every time I go is, on Instagram, bro. is Wabi better? Like, bro, we could be talking about fucking sneakers. Wabi wear young boy wearing sneakers, but like, but niggas was saying Wayne better when we was younger. All the time. All the time. I mean, Wayne well, better. See, so you said Wayne better. Wayne better. So Wayne versus Drake. Who you Wayne. Doing? All right. All right. Wayne better. Shake, I, I, I can shake your hand right there. Just Wayne. Saying, Wayne. Right. Right. But yo, when it comes to this um production shit, right? And mm. like we were talking about producers, right? And, right? and like I feel like some people judge producers um based on like if they make their own beats, what are they doing? Like the people they in it, if they're doing it by themselves. When it comes to like doing videos, like I've had conversations with you and I'm mm-hmm. like, yo. Where do you get your motivation from? And the nigga literally says, man, I just make it up. Like, it just come from me. And I'm like, yo, you don't have no inspiration? Like, nah, not really. Do you judge, like, well, not judge, that's a bad word. Mm. Do, you, do you look at other video, videographers that's like, I don't know, I don't want to say copying, but like might have motivation from, from other places. And you be like, man, I think I'm better because of that. Do you hold them to that standard? One thing I don't ever say is I'm better. Always so we would never hear split better. You'll like, never say you'll never hear me sound better than somebody. Okay. I like to just create my own lane. That's it. I you don't have to say it. I'll say it. it's cool. It's fine. Nah. <laughs> I'm, it's cool. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm, like 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 Rex cool. said, everybody it's got fine. their own opinion about shit. Me personally, I just like to just say I, the humble shit. I like to be in my own lane, bro. For real, I don't look. People don't motivate me like that. Mm, like in okay. that world, I'm gonna just say that person. They don't motivate me. You feel me? I'm just a, a random motherfucker that just look at things differently. Mm-hmm. Like, I go here, y'all go straight. See y'all later. I see y'all. So, do you think if you came across somebody that was like more like yourself and is like, "Yo, I'm I really- still looking for that person." Whew, there we go. That's what I was looking for. for real. So, are you working with um, Rico Nasty? Yeah. How did you even meet her? Like, she ooh. reached out to me. Rico. That's my dog, bro. She reached out to me. It was like, "Yo, we trying to shoot a video where you at?" Mind you, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I was a real crazy fanboy, so I'm quiet about it. I'm just behind my phone. You feel me? Eating like a little high school girl. Like, oh this. It's really it, you feel me? He's one of my favorite artists, quietly. She hit me up, was like, yo, we gotta shoot a video, bro. I literally said, we shoot this week. I don't care, I'm catching the next flight to Baltimore. Are you in DC? You 20, 40 minutes away from me. Come on, we shooting right right now, let's do it. And then since then, it was just locked in y'all? Bro, chemistry, that's my dog, bro. That's my Taurus queen, she's did you ever Did you ever have any other artists that like hit you up like that and, and y'all built that chemistry like automatically? Uh, Cannon, Cannon being a producer hit me like, on the Damn. email shit, he, he found me the night I shot a video for Uzi. He was like, where are you at? Come pull up to Mean Street. Bro, I ain't gonna, we talking Don Cannon, bro. Like, yeah. I used to listen to these niggas. They, they like an idol to me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Gangsta Girls, all that. That's, yeah. so, so seeing a nigga in your email. When you said it, the first thing I'm thinking about is I'm no like, way. Like, really, <laughs> really, right, you feel me? I'm like, this Cannon you emailing me? I'm gonna hit you with like, the Cannon. <laughs> yeah, yo, so I'm sitting there like, nah, this, bro. This is because I got duct tape and wrote, you missing like the fucking, nah. Yeah, yeah like, nah. That hit me. That hit me different. Sheesh, I ain't gonna lie. Right. So, my nays. So, I feel like you guys. We're gonna talk about the tour in a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You guys have a really like a really special and close relationship. Like, how how, how did that? How did y'all click? Did it come from Baltimore or did it come from in the, being in the A? Believe it or not, like Rex always been. A, Don't say that shit, bro. Don't what the little I, bro? I, I, I ain't gonna say little bro. I ain't gonna say rug right. I mean, Rex said his fucking <laughs> age, though. I'm just saying he did it no, to I himself. I knew. I thought he was about to say it. Talking to Mike, talking nah, to Mike. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. He always been a rug rat. So he don't know, like, he knows what he knows. Like, Rex, I knew this nigga's forever. You feel me? Literally, you know, like, Dame, me and Carlos, we used to go to school together. Dame is one of his longtime friends. So this little nigga used to be around. Little did he know, me, black, fats, I'm on the side. Mm-hmm. He be around. So Rex don't know, like, he was really, like, right here, even before I left. But sure. then when I left, he's like, I'm going wherever this is nigga is going. You feel me? Because, like, that's, that's family. Like, Rex always been like little bro to me, bro. Like, I love this little nigga. I kill for this little nigga, mm-hmm. bro. 
You feel me? But nah, I was like, when I was in diapers with my older brother. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Man. Like you remember Tap Man D? Yeah. That's He's a legend in the city, bro. Damn. That's yeah. Hey. So I'm I'm watching this little nigga grow up. You feel me? So it's like he's always been around. No matter who I'm around, he's there. You feel me? So it's kind of like I want to say he a little saint, but like he really right here. Like you feel me? But he, oh, that's fine, Rex, bro. Cause we've been talking this music shit. I'm sorry. I, I I'm loving it. I'm sorry. I go crazy. I'm ready to spar. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to give me your Mount Rushmore of Baltimore artists, you can do it. If anybody can do it. You can do it, don't, ah, no, no, no. G-Rock, TRC, nigga, all across the board. Ain't nobody else up there. I don't give a fuck how niggas feel. Wait, who? G-Rock. That's it? G-Rock. You gotta give me four. I'm not giving you nobody else but G-Rock. That nigga said die line. Die, die line. line. <laughs> die line. <laughs> I'm gonna give you G-Rock, Dante, G, TRC. That's G-Rock all the way across the board. I mean, I'm, rest in peace, my boy. Okay. That's the first nigga to rap on any of my beats. The first nigga to ever fuck with me. The first nigga to give me any money for these beats. Rest his soul, man. Like, mm -hmm. I remember he told me when he came in the studio, he looked at me and Elijah. He was like, man, y'all gonna take this shit over. So you had to give me Mount Rushmore since we in the A. Since we in the A. Oh, hey. Atlanta artist. Mount Rushmore right now. Oof. Man, bro, you, you pressure. Niggas gonna hate me for this. Um, mm. Young Maul for sure going one. See, let me think. Pluto second. Mm. I mean, that's easy. not because he my man's bro, and not because he right here. This is genuinely how I feel about dummy man, man, savage. On oh, God, niggas know about man, man, niggas know what's up. Mm -hmm. And Yaki, pop lord. Right. I wish so his fat ass dropped. You had to do a uh, pop lord. Quick question, bro. You think you think uh, and it's random. Do you think uh? Future is hotter than Drake in the A? Man, I feel like Future is better than Drake, but that's a st situation for another day. So you tell me, bro, y'all niggas. So you tell me if, 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 if Future do a versus with Drake, Future gonna win, but not Kanye West? Tell me, I'm gonna I'm keep it real with you. Like you said, you threw the two to the wire, bro. I've never been there. I've heard hundreds of Drake songs, bro, but I've never, nigga, I done heard some shit from Future where I'm sitting there like, God damn it. Can't like, say he don't be speaking to you. Tell me, this nigga, when I first heard my Savages, bro, Come on, dumb. You can't even tell me. Bro. Fuck out of here with this conversation. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's a, it's a conversation. Monster, this is, bro. This like, is when I different. first heard Monster Dummy, like, come on, bro. I was going through it. So, you're bro. gonna choose. So, come if you choose a future over, over Drake, you choose a future over Kanye West? Every time. Every time. Bro, y'all niggas. I don't care how niggas. But you said Lil Wayne over. Uh, I'm gonna take Drake. Wayne over everybody. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm Wayne I'm, over everybody. We're gonna just shake on that, bro. Like Wayne over everybody. everybody. Like let me just get that clear. You feel me? If it was Wayne in the future, I'm taking Wayne before anybody. All right, but all right, all right. Cause it's gonna be the other shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, bro. I mean, it's like Drake been saying. Like it's the it's my whole thing is, bro. Like I'm gonna keep it real. Like I don't know the nigga personally. I don't know who he is. You feel me? But my whole thing is, you never know the nigga in real life. So. He could be a dog to bitches in real life. You feel me? Like, you never know. He might not be a certified lover boy. My whole thing is why I fuck with Future. Dummy keeping that shit all the way 100 across the board. Like, bitch, fuck your feelings. Like, you feel nah, me? I'm going to fuck you. You feel me? If I'm going to fuck with you, you going to know I fuck with you. But it's not like. And, and these females nowadays, like, they fell in line because of what Pluto did. Like, on the yeah. real. Nah, you, I ain't going to lie. Like, he, he made it okay to be like a wild nigga. The nigga. No, this, the Steve Harvey shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. This man really took it to this. This nigga is out of line, bro. You crazy, bro. You crazy. <laughs> bro, how you was... say some shit like that, bro? It's out of line. Yeah, if you had to give me Mount Rushmore in Baltimore, because you, you work with a lot of artists, bro. Give me a Mount Rushmore artist in Baltimore. All right, so, so Rex, Rex got a different timeline from mine. Yeah. So, I yeah. feel like we can have this. We can have this conversation. Rex is on some bullshit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, yo. Like Rex is on some bullshit. Yo, yo like, that's cool though. I love niggas to death. You feel me? Like, Shout, like Chaz, Roddy. You feel me? Money, Jake. Niggas in the city. You feel me? Okay. Right now, my, they my niggas. You and, feel me? And they the hardest out ever. And ain't nobody fucking with them. But my heart. I mean, like, I mean, I can understand that though. I'm not. I'm not really mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Give me your Mount Rushmore though. <sighs> Alright, so since we growing up. Yeah. We can we can start with Tim Trees. <sighs> there we go. We can give him Tim Trees. We Thank him. you. Can we talk some shit? All right, we can give him that. Tim um, Trees. We can give him Tim Trees. I'm gonna just throw Tate on there. We can give him Tate Coburn. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. You can't not put. I'm Tate. Not, not put Tate on there. I'm bro. not mad at I'm that. I'm sorry, at bro. All. That as much as special. And as much as the city try to make a scene, like he can't. He know. They know. Yeah. That's nigga. why he moved away. Stop but with come on, y'all. Gotta give Tate top flowers, y'all. And the last two. I don't care. Niggas gonna give a fuck. I don't care. 
Don't say it while I'm right. I mean, you say it, man. I'm saying it. Yo. Say it. I'm gonna say it. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna put Izzy on there, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put Izzy on there, yeah. I got to, bro. Okay. It makes sense. What, tell me, what? tell me, tell, and, and give me, no, and give me a read. Crazy. Well, no, because I'm like, why, why you saying like, don't put him on there? No, I'm, I'm no, saying, no, no, he wasn't saying, saying that. He was like, don't say it. it. No, that's Izzy, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, Izzy, but you got to give me a reason why we shouldn't put Izzy on it. That's what I'm saying. It's, nobody can give me a reason why not. I haven't heard nobody that can go ball for ball with him. And that's what I'm saying. real, so. I mean, so it depends who your fourth one is. And then, like, because I fuck with Izzy. But if I'm talking about Mount Rushmore, it depends who your fourth one is. Well, I probably would take him up. Oof. Fourth one gonna be between three people though. That's the problem. Nah, I don't even I say the three people. The name one. I don't wanna know the fourth. Yeah, thank you. One one had three people. We named the one. Damn, yeah. That's a that's a tough one. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's what it's for. I wanna know. <laughs> Facts. This nigga got anticipation. You saying he's stressed? All right, bro. I give it. I give it to my boy Chaz, bro. Okay. I give the Chaz, bro. I must say, if I had to take um. I would probably take either one of them off because I feel like nobody could be mad at this. It's because I got to put Scooter on it. I got to. Hear me out. Hear me out. For what Scooter did Hit to me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not taking away from Scooter on that one. Not at all. I'm not. But you got to understand different timelines, bro. Right. His timeline was after. Not even after. Almost a little bit before he passed. Mm -hmm. Our timeline is when he started. Mm -hmm. So you thinking out my Mount my, my Mount Rushmore is different from that. Like, yeah, I'm gonna look at it differently. But our Mount Rushmore, Rushmore, so you must your Mount Rushmore isn't gonna be wrong because I was gonna be different regardless. Yeah, so I would never course. say. Yeah. But if you ask me why, I would have to give you a reason why I would take one. And off. I would respect. I would that. say Scooter just because of what he did for the city. Like Definitely. he had Diddy posted this nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's just special for the city. He opened doors for. OTR Chaz to come through you for me for mm -hmm. a lot of guys that come through not saying that they wouldn't be lit don't get it fucked up because niggas nah, is special it, it, no he's you know what right about he really doors. Yeah, bro. that's it that's really it. I ain't no, taking no, that no, 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 he, he was real that's, that's, real. that's, my that, that's just fucked up like, that's just my opinion I ain't never even really talked about this like the day he died I had a session with him like he was on his way to architect you feel me like we was supposed to like I remember he hit me up he was like bro you beat so hard like I'm like hell no school ain't just hit me up like but he always showed love like he he always like I ain't gonna lie, him and ball, like Yeah, shout, shout out to ball. ball, man. Damn. Like free my boy. That nigga right there is one nigga that always showed me love. Like he even if he didn't even know I was making beats, bro, like so I do agree with you on Scooter on that, bro, because Scooter he had a real genuine heart, bro. And that shit was I'm gonna tell you a story. I was hosting in a club the day he died. I never ever witnessed nothing like this, bro. I'm hosting in the club. And I see somebody phone go off and they stop. So somebody came to me like, yo, Jay, um, Scooter just got killed. Swear to God, right? And it was like simultaneously the entire party got the same text. And you know how they tell the host to like make an announcement. And I'm like, I can't make that announcement. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, because if it's not true, like I'm not about to make that announcement. But I didn't even have to make the announcement. I right hand to the man, bro. The entire party stopped, bro. I never seen no shit like that in my life, bro. So when we talking about the impact that somebody had mm -hmm. on a town, bro, that shit is crazy, bro. Um, you, I'm sorry, bro. I'm bro, we talking, we talking, we talking, we talking, we talking. We get to talking. I'm, I'm enjoying the conversation, bro. Um, I was talking to my brother earlier about um, wanting to have that love from the city. You know, we right, hear right, Boosie right, right. say, like, you know, you got to move away. You know what I'm saying? Because if you stay home, eventually niggas going to hate. They're going to try to kill you. Every time. But that's not front, though. You know what I'm saying? As talent, bro, we always want that love in our perspective city. It mm -hmm. feel like we king. You don't agree? No, I agree. You, you, I agree. You, 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 I don't, don't agree. you never wanted the love in the city? Man, fuck that city, bro. Like, keep... Speaking of Mike, nigga. Fuck that city, bro. Like, keep it 100. Like, I love Baltimore to death, but fuck it. Like, I'm not. And that shit. It ain't for nobody, bro. Like, yeah. That shit, like, I love that city to death, bro. Like, for real. But I, I was never pressed to have them behind me. Like, they can be behind me if they want to be behind me. They don't have to be behind me. My whole thing is, it's just, we got real artists that came out of there that, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. That went up, but because people didn't like their image, they mm -hmm. downplayed them. And that's not cool. Like, you feel me? That's not cool. We had real artists that put in real work from the ground up. You feel me? Got us hits. 
You feel me? Like, not to downplay school or anything, but you say about how Diddy posted him, but everybody was posting G Rock. Mm. Like, when G Rock died, it's like the world stopped. You feel me? Because he was the first Baltimore artist that ever had the world. You feel me? Kev that's when Kevin Gates started popping. Kevin Gates was coming to Baltimore fucking with G Rock. You feel me? That's when Kevin Gates was the number one artist in the world. Everybody mm -hmm. knew who G Rock was. Everybody wanted to do a song with G Rock. I got a song with G Rock and Yo Gotti. Like, you feel me? Like, I was 15. Damn. Uh, you can't tell me, like. I think yeah. what we witnessing, right? Because I feel like you said, yeah, right? And I feel like what we witnessing is. Bless you. I think um, the impact that people like yourself, people like, um, you know, older, because we know we yeah, see the age yeah, different, yeah. right? And I feel like <clears throat> uh, somebody like you paved the way for somebody like Rex to be like, man, fuck that city. And we ain't saying fuck the city like we don't love the city, but no, we no, saying no, fuck it, it because what it, what it does to us. Yeah. So I understand that. But I feel like first thing you was like, yeah, man, we want that love from the city. But I yeah. feel like the fact that you went and got it, right? You was able to show niggas that it's fucked that city, even if I don't say it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's bigger than the city, and now niggas that. like Rex, niggas like Chaz, niggas like uh, Roddy, mm -hmm. they probably would say the same thing. Like, man, nah, I don't need that because they learned from niggas like you, niggas yeah. like Scooter, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, real. But you was, I wanted you to speak on why did you feel at a point like, man, I, I need this love for my city? Because it's like, it's a support problem for us. Like, he... His age bracket is more traumatic than ours. Mm. You got to understand. They got worse and worse and worse the younger it was, you know what I'm saying? So it's different for our bracket. Like, man, I could say I need that support because I know what it meant to actually have genuine love mm. in our city at the time when it was love, you feel mm. me? It's not the same now, but I say that because that's the fuel. Like, you know, you say you go home, you check in, you, you know, some, some niggas might not like you being there, some niggas will. But I don't fuel off of the negative part of it. Mm. I want to make sure I get the positive part because it's somebody down there, just the same as Rex, that's looking for a way out for motivation. For real. So that's the kind of love I go for. I go for that part. And, um, you know, Ben is, though, like I say, even going back to Swift, she always show love, bro. And as much as everybody loved it, there's a lot of niggas that hated Swift. Damn. And people don't know that story. I wish I could have um, met Swift, man. Man, beautiful woman, bro. I wish I could have, like. Oh, real, like, really. Really. Damn. Like, real beautiful. Like, like, but yeah. how don't you get stuck, man? Um, from like being, because it's easy to get stuck, bro. Yeah, you get that get love, stuck. and it's like, man, I'm here, man. How do you get stuck? I I get a reality check. This one right here. Mm. He he <laughs> reminds me not to stay there. <laughs> that's it. That's just what I'm saying. Like I can feel what he feel, but I know how to take in and take out. We talk. We talking uh, Mount Rushmore, right? We about to get into the tour, and we're going to get there. We're going to get into a new tape. Mm -hmm. Um, we talking Mount Rushmore, in Baltimore, right? And there's a lot of niggas that's outside. This is city talk. This is why I love this because, bro, we can do this. We can do this. I love it. For me, I ain't on Breakfast Club. I ain't on Hot 97. I don't got to do that. I'm talking my city, bro. So it is what it is. Like, All right, everybody go, else, go, like, this go, is what the go, fuck go, we're talking about. Ahead. You feel me? So the thing about it is, we talking Mount Rushmore, and we left somebody off, and I forgot. And I I, mm. I think I will, I will put him on mine because of what the impact he did. We talking Los. You said you wouldn't. I'm going to leave him Rex off. Rex said he wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Definitely leave him off. Shout out to him, but nah, I leave him off, bro. You said... Can I say? I mean, say your thing, bro. Y'all don't think he fucks with the city like that? Nah, my, and I'm from his generation. As a youngin'. Yo from my block. And you don't think he fuck with the city like that? He ain't been there. All right, so only reason I'm gonna say differently, Thanks. the only reason I'm gonna say differently, right? And this ain't for no cameras, because I ain't never give a fuck about no whatever. Only reason I'm gonna say differently, because when I went to LA, and anybody I know that went to LA, he was the first nigga to show love. Bro, let me tell you this. Niggas leave Baltimore and want to put Baltimore on because of what Baltimore is. Like, I'm, I'm not about to dumb that down for nobody. Niggas leave the city and try to be the hardest nigga out the world. Yeah, I'm from Baltimore. Bro, that shit is not it. Niggas be trying to say that shit because it's the city, bro. Niggas don't really be putting on for the city. Niggas don't really do shit for the city. Niggas don't really want nothing for the city, bro. Niggas is fake, bro. Mm. If you was real as you was, bro, it's how many artists since I done came out here have I put in position yeah that's how many like come on bro like i'm not but that's, that's what i'm saying rex I, I i honestly feel like i'm not gonna lie bro like just from my experience anytime i or anybody i know bro and i'm not talking about like what nobody did mm -hmm. for the city right like far as like coming back uh -huh. anytime i or anybody i know went to la from my from my vantage point bro they they had a place to stay the nigga gave them connects you know what i'm saying that's like me bro when i came to, to the a mm -hmm. Spud took me to the party, bro. 
I mean, I can go down my fucking contact list, and and and, and I ain't saying y'all experiences are wrong. It's just if no. anybody was like, sp- 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 I'm like, nah, you tripping because when through my experience, you feel me? Like I understand that. Understand, like I said, you feel me when I said I've been in the studio with niggas. You feel me? I can't say that their experience is right. for everybody else. But, bro, like I'm keeping it real, bro. Like if a nigga say where they from so much, if they rep where they from so much, bro, do something for that city, bro. Mm. That simple. Shit is fucked up. In so Baltimore. you don't think you don't think moving away and, and becoming bigger is doing something for your city? Because we can't really put our city on if we. What not. is that doing what for the that? niggas that's fucked up in the city? What is that doing other than glorifying what you're doing in their face that we already know other people want to get to that line? It's okay to reach out, okay. and I'm not saying he didn't to other niggas. Okay, it's just that from our I'm, point I'm, of view, okay. we don't see that a lot from Lowe's, and I'm not trying to like chase like, that. I'm not that. Yeah, I'm yeah, picking, and I feel like these are just we can open ha- conversation. That's what I'm saying. I feel like. If anybody can have these conversations, we could because all three of us probably could get lost on the phone right now. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, situations I'm like, like, situation like the artists, bro. Like, you got niggas that then came up, bro. Like, you done Scooter came and gone. Mm. Scola came. You, you feel me? Scola still doing his thing. You feel me? Roddy. You feel me? Chaz. Money Jake. Tony Next to Blow. I, I can keep you going. Just some shit, some shit. I can keep going, bro. <laughs> like on the furrow, on the real. Like everybody, like nigga Izzy. Jug, you yeah. feel me? Like uh, D Nice, nigga. Like I can keep going, bro. Yeah. Do any be of them sleeping in our city, man? That's what I'm saying. Any of them niggas have a song with him, bro? Mm-hmm. Okay. And none of them niggas is going to turn down. Los, if he reached they, out, they, they not, none bro. of them going to turn down. It's the fact that he got the platform to help, bro, and you don't help. Damn. It's not even about coming to the city or giving money back, bro. It's about it's the little shit you can do that don't cost no money, bro. It's the little shit you can do, dummy. It's niggas in the city, bro. That when they see me, bro, can I please get a beat? Here. Here. So I'm how getting, do we so how do we how do we how, how do we um get the perspective of like niggas just being busy? Because I feel like y'all can understand okay, okay, out of every bro, I hit niggas spud. I don't wanna hear nobody week, busy, bro. I don't wanna like hear working, nobody working. busy, bro. I'm a producer and an artist. I don't wanna hear nobody busy. Mm. Nigga, you rap for a living. You don't make beats. I rap and make beats. And I'll never tell nobody I'm too busy because I love music. You feel me? If you love music, you, you fuck with music the way you fuck with music, bro. You gonna help a nigga. I think it's somebody out there that might be trying to get in contact with you and that can't. And it's, bro, and, it's, and been, it's been, it's been no, no, no. It's been niggas that hadn't got in contact with me. But when they see me, you can. It's it's ne- it'll never be a nigga on this earth that love. say I couldn't get in contact with we, that nigga. But when I seen him, dummy, he gave me a beat. I'm with he that. showed we, love. We can shake on. I like I like you that. You feel me? Like I'll never be that type. Spuds, you going on tour with uh, Rico Nasty? Yeah. Um, this came from the same DM. This is the same conversation. <laughs> this nigga is supposed to be the most blessed nigga I've ever known in my fucking life. Like, one conversation, cool, we're going to shoot for a video, and we're going on tour. Yeah. When is the tour uh, coming? It starts October 15th, and it ends uh, two days before Christmas. So, you just shoot, like, what, what are you doing? We're doing, like, full creative direction, doing all her pictures, we're doing music videos. Album this coming. Nigga from me. That's what I want to talk. That's what I. Uh, she still. Low pause. She's stealing a nigga from me too, cause I just got out here and I need some. This nigga, bro, I, I swear to God, bro, I think it was like week two. Might have been week one. The nigga Spud take me to the uh, Metro Boomin party. <laughs> so the Metro, mind you, it's cool. Like for me, it's like, all right, bet. I'm and here with some people. That wasn't all though. The nigga literally connected me to everybody. Like, not even bullshit. Only nigga he didn't connect me with was uh, Young Thug because the nigga came in there with 100 motherfuckers. Nobody was getting to that nigga. You feel me? Like, and matter, I'm lying because that nigga went to the section on some chilling like I'm one of the niggas around the block type shit. But that was the only nigga that he didn't, he couldn't connect me to. Everybody, bro, I ain't even gonna name the names, but I mean, literally, like, bro, the nigga, everybody. So I, I understand your pain was like, she's still in that nigga, right? Like, bro, pause. Not even that. I'm talking about, I was like, we working on putting this damn project out. So I need videos and shit right now. Like, oh, you right. Straight snap. Damn. Up in a critical moment, like, I'm in a critical moment. Like. But, um, being where you at, right? But, but right. Trey Lightly, and you wanna, you gonna understand what I mean by this. Copy. The Rico Nasty connection and we're gonna put this in quotation marks. Opportunity. How does that work with you? Where you at in your career right now? Cause you know, coming up, we always looking for opportunities. Then we get lit, and then it's like, man, don't come at me with no opportunity. Give me some paper. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But where you are now, as Spud McKenzie, like that nigga, doing this videography shit. Like you're like niggas know, niggas know. How do you measure the opportunity versus the paper, or oh, it's no measurement? There's no measurement. Sheesh. Damn. 
Yo, so even if she don't come correct, it's like, nigga, what? No. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Spud, bro. This nigga right here. <laughs> nigga said, <laughs> yeah, shit was coming, nigga said we best friends, and this nigga still charged me for a price. No, like not even like <laughs> not not even trying to be funny, bro. Like hey, yo. I don't disrespect it, bro. Like I respect that shit more than anything. One hundred percent. Like I respect it more than anything is the fact because people be so fanned out. People be mm. so I need to do this for them. I need to do this for them just to get there, bro. Yeah, where's your morals? Where's your pride? Where's your self respect? You feel me? Because once you do all this free shit, you gonna be in the house fucked up, ain't paying your bills. But how is that not morals or self respect when it like you really just trying to put yourself in position to get more clientele? I guess. Hey, bro. Let me tell you. That's why I say tread light. G Rock was the first nigga to give me some money for a beat. He was not famous. Mm. He was not. I ain't gonna say he went up. Dumb you had paper. You feel yeah. me? But I'm not gonna say he's famous. <laughs> if you know who G Rock was, you, you know he did. But come on, bro. Like, if he can pay me. Why the fuck can't none of these niggas pay me? Mm. He ain't had no jewelry on when he paid me. These niggas got fifty thousand dollar rollies on, hundred thousand dollar chains on. Cool, bro. My beats are ten thousand dollars. What we gonna talk about? That's I ain't even gotta answer the question. That that's what I'm saying. And this nigga Spud coming me like, yo, you got better cameras than, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like nigga, because niggas like you too is fucking expensive. So I gotta learn how to do this shit myself. Of course, I got my own shit. Nigga, talk about something. Yo, you got well, you never caught? No, I'm not about to call you for what? For nigga, those for those for those that don't know, pick up the camera. Fuck out my face, nigga. Niggas don't even know this nigga Jay got three bust downs in here worth of equipment. I'm just oh, letting God. you know, on God, bro. Sitting here, no just cap. sitting there. No cap. But you like, like I'm gonna put this bitch on. My neck right now. <laughs> put that bitch around your neck. <laughs> that bitch on with the spaghetti. That's good. But now nah, you know why I, I say tread lightly because bro, like. Bro, you Pyrex, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you man, are spud. Nah, bro, let's not do that. Like, that's not what I'm, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I say that and with all due respect because you guys work hard to get to where you at. You guys work to be in a position to say, nah, if he can pay me, you can pay me. But we can't tell that to the, to the nigga that's just starting to pick up the camera. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right, I, right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take it from you. Uh, yo, I, my first time being in the studio was with Cash Out. He introduced me to Cash Out. Mm. You feel me? The first time the song coming out, bro, I need to get paid. Like, this ain't, it's not really no discussion. Like, stand on that I'm shit, bro. Hey, I'm, I ain't gonna, listen, I, I'm, 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 I'd rather take it from you guys because, like I said, I'm gonna respect your name. So if you can say it, then. And they'll who? respect you more for that, bro. Yeah, because, because the minute like, they see you sweet and green, man, mm, niggas ain't about to. What? Every nah, day they gonna try you out today. I'm Facts. not about to have that happen. You got a project that's coming out that Spud is about to fuck the whole bag up because he's gonna be gone for like nah, a year. I'm flying back to shoot all that shit. No, I'm not about to fuck it up. I'm definitely gonna come back. Okay, they gonna be sick. What's going on with the project, man? When we dropping? Mistakes were made, we're getting intentions uh, uh sure. right now i'm in the mastering process it was supposed to be uploaded for my birthday october the 10th but um I, if you know me i'm i'm a perfectionist so it's like if it ain't what i needed to be if it don't sound like how i needed to sound right then and there sound like kanye was but i mean i mean i've got a lot of motivation from kanye like, you feel me i've grown up watching kanye west like kanye west is one of my biggest inspirations in life like if i so, could be like anybody i would love to be like kanye but you want to okay. and i don't mm, <laughs> we ain't gonna go back I, to I'm it. A, I'm, I, I fuck with music, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, I don't care about who you are or what you do. Like, even if I love you the most, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, right. Southside, my favorite producer on this earth, you feel me? But DJ Spins, bro, is not untouched. He's mm -hmm. untouched. Shout out to Spins. So, Shout mistakes Spins. are made with good intention. Um, it, it sounds like a saying I, I, I say recently a lot. And, you know, they say uh, the, pave, the road to hell is paved with good intention. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, is that kind of the. The thought process behind yeah. what you was making this yeah um if you explain that though my last project blood on the hills um so the songs that really did what they were supposed to do was the songs where i was vulnerable mm. you know like the songs where i was letting them know like how i feel you feel me like all this street shit like the song i did with herb you feel me didn't really it went up but it didn't get as much love as pilot or chemist or um, yeah, definitely nothing got as much love as chemistry, you feel me? Because that was like a heartbreak story. Like, so I decided, you know, like all the songs that people really fuck with is the heartbreak music. So mm. I just decided to really go through my music and just put myself into it this time. Instead of trying to put something out, I decided to really put my emotions, my feelings, and really be vulnerable as hell. Like, because a lot of the songs, bro, is... 
I'm just admitting my wrongs for real. Can I ask you something, bro? And I always, um, I always get like super serious on s- certain topics. Do you feel like that hurt the most? That hurt, hurt the most when you're you're doing something from the goodness of your heart, or you're doing something with the right intention, but then a mistake is made, and now somebody is judging you, or now your your actions is judged by something that you ain't even. It came from a, a good place, but it looks differently. Yeah. Mm. And it's really because of um the way everything shifted in this generation now, like, believe it or not, like, it's kind of hard. Like, growing up, you know, you see your parents, what they, you feel me, what they, they love one that they've been with forever. And this generation is just like, people so scared to to even get itself to somebody, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And it's like, no matter how, how good you do, you feel me, it's never enough for somebody. So no matter how good your intentions are, sometimes it's never enough. Mm, nah, for real. Don't worry about it. Um, nah, so um, the title again mm-hmm. is Mistakes Are Made. Mistakes Were Made With Good Intention. Mistakes Were Made With Good Intention. When is it dropping again? Uh, late October. Spud, yes, Tour, sir. Rico Nasty, when again? October 15th. October the 15th. But. Oh, go ahead. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to bring it back a little bit. Go ahead. So the Legends of the Street Tour with Rick Ross, Jeezy, Gucci. Bro, what the Fabulous, fuck? Fabulous, Lil' Kim. Trina starts tomorrow. My you can't God. say tomorrow, you, bro. Come on, bro. You know, bro. You can't say tomorrow on video. Like, I mean, bro, when, when I, is, I, I didn't, what's I, I didn't know. Date? I didn't get a date, bro. I'm it sorry. starts. It literally starts tomorrow. And what's the date though? You got to say the ninth. It's, it's on, the thirtieth. Thirtieth. It starts on the thirtieth. Because <laughs> this is you can say it today. Like this is about to drop right now. Like I mean, you, you might like, you might drop it. I don't know. You might be with the shits, bro. Nah, I ain't I ain't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, um, I'm gonna just recite that. So now, nah, honestly, like um, I'm going on a Legend of the Street tour before I get on Rico's tour. Damn, bro! So I'm gonna be on there up until the 15th, and then I'm gonna hop off that tour, shoot my boy videos, move on to the tour in between. So I'm working on his tape while doing two tours. Yo, how can um, this is a question. Uh, this, is, this is random, real quick. We about to get out of here. Well, all this shit you doing, bro? Like, how can somebody book you? Like, on like I like not even on no interview shit, but like on some real shit. Like, how can a nigga book you to do a video? My, my email, my my website, on my page. Just but, send me an inquiry, bro. Like, nah, don't give me that, bro. All right, so look, I'm gonna just like, sorry. Look, uh, no, 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 no. Like, nah, school, 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 school. My inquiry hit the email. This, this, link what, in I, my this bio. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just say it like this. Look, I don't answer to how much are your videos, bro. I'm gonna just say that. Mm-hmm. I answer to I have this much money. What can we do? But if somebody hits you, forget that. Forget the cliche shit. If somebody hits you correctly, of course, correctly. How how can you even fit it in your capacity? What you're doing right now? I'll get it done. Spud McKenzie, everybody. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thank y'all for pulling up, bro. Uh, we touched on pretty much everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yo, I definitely like super thank you, dog. Um, yeah. Pyrex, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, locking in with you more. Appreciate you um, me, I appreciate you guys for uh, pulling up, man. Mm-hmm. Um, if y'all, I, niggas already know, just tell them where to follow y'all at, all that good YouTube shit. Mm-hmm. Follow me on Pyrex. I'm down. <laughs> God damn. Follow me on Instagram, Pyrex with no Twitter. Say, say, say it in your camera. Follow me to in, follow me on Instagram, Pyrex Whipper. No Twitter. Yeah, you can follow me on all platforms, Spud McKenzie. Man, conversation series, Mr. J Hill. Uh, the guys, Baltimore. You know I'm always do it for y'all, man. Um, that's all I got to say. I don't have nothing else to say. It's a wrap. We out. <laughs>